What is up, you interestingly interested viewers? I am Strong Ash Gamer, and welcome back to the 40k Boys channel. Uh, today, I'm going to be painting an Outrider. I'm going to be showing you what colours to use for an Ultramarines Outrider, and I'm going to be showing you what it looks like afterwards, and showing you um, why that we are going to be using these paints that we are going to be using. So, today... Um, I have already used the, uh, spray paint for the Ultramarines Blue, so that is why it is a perfect blue all around. And, um, the first thing we want to do is get black and paint the wheels, uh, the joints between the armour and the guns. So... Uh, I will start doing that, and, uh, let's get going. Now that I have applied the black to the model on the wheels, the guns, the handles, uh, and the joints between the armour, we shall be using lead belcher to, uh, use on the exhaust pipes right here and also the exhaust ports on the backpack of the ultramarine so I'll do that and then I'll see you in a bit now that I have applied the silver on the exhaust on the gas ports and the exhaust ports on the backpack of the space marine I will be applying silver onto the chain sword but that will be after I paint something else on the uh, other other parts of the chain sword, but before that happens, I will also be painting white on the actual ultramarine himself. It will be on the reactive armor pauldrons, a uh, helmet because he is a veteran, and also on the Aquila. And I will be doing it on the skull later on, but I will need to apply a different color on there first. So I shall see you when I do that. So, now that the white has dried, we will be applying Mephiston Red to the uh, underblade part of the chainsaw, or cover part of the chainsaw, uh, and the eyes. So, I shall do that. I shall also be applying it to the purity seal, but that will be done later on. Now that the red is done and dusted, we shall be moving on to putting the gold on the model. And the gold will be going on the end of the exhaust ports. And also, I like to put it on this little gauntlet right here. Just because, you know, it adds a little bit of extra character to the people. And shows that they've been there for a long time. And they've been getting a lot more respect and decoration. So I shall do that, and I will report back once I've done that. Now that I have done the gold, I shall be moving on to the silver for the chainsaw. I did not do the silver on the chainsaw earlier, because the red needed to dry and needed to be put on first. So I shall do that next. Now that I have done the silver on the chainsaw, I shall be moving on to doing the brown on the pouch slash holster of the gun so that is going to be what i'm going to be doing next now that i have done the brown on the pouches i shall be moving on to doing the white skull on top of the golden gauntlet now that i have finished the white skull on top of the gauntlet i shall be moving on to painting the base with Armageddon dust. Now that I have done the Armageddon dust on the base, I shall wait for that to dry and then I shall paint black along the edges just to make it look a bit more fancy. Now that I have completed the Outriders base, that is my Outrider done. All you have to do is follow these same steps and you too can have an Outrider which looks as beautiful as this. Make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. Hit, turn on all notifications, which means that you will be able to get notified when a new video comes out. I shall see you next video. Bye!